all you Facebook streamers, Wild Free Games here to help you find the best settings that you need if you're going to use Streamlabs OBS. So buckle in, because here we go. When it comes to live streaming software, it can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're just dipping your toe in. But it's okay. By the end of this video, within just a few moments, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know so that way you'll be up and running and live streaming to Facebook Gaming. So let's go. To get started, you need to download Streamlabs OBS, which you can do on streamlabs.com for free. You will need to connect Streamlabs OBS to your Facebook account. After logging in, the import settings function allows you to transfer settings from another broadcasting software in less than a minute. You can also start fresh and configure settings manually if you want to. In this case, let me show you how to start fresh if you're just starting out. If you already have a webcam and microphone connected to your computer, Streamlabs OBS will automatically detect it, so you can choose which device you'd like to use. You can also change these devices later on, so it's okay if you want to experiment. Nothing is set in stone. A live stream wouldn't be anything without adding a little bit of flair, and on Streamlabs OBS, there are over 250 beautifully handcrafted overlay themes available for free. Most themes come with a stream starting soon, a live scene, a be right back scene and a stream ending scene. There are also 30 free Facebook specific overlay themes available in Streamlabs OBS. This is where you get to kind of stylize your stream and make it your own. So don't be afraid to shop around on the marketplace to see what style best fits you and your stream. You're now done with the onboarding process. That was super easy. But let me show you how to optimize your settings for your Streamlabs OBS so that way you get the best quality possible when you broadcast. Having improper settings for your computer's hardware can cause performance issues to your live stream. To adjust these settings, open Streamlabs OBS and click on the settings cog in the lower left corner. To change your encoder, navigate to the output in the settings window. When it comes to encoders, there are two types, software, which is X264, and hardware, which is NVENC. The software encoder X264 will use your CPU to encode video, while hardware encoders like NVENC will offboard the encoding process to your GPU. Picking the encoder that works best for you depends on a few factors. In general, the output quality of a given bitrate for hardware encoders won't be as high as software encoders. However, the advantage is a decreased load on your CPU. In most cases, the software encoder X264 will be available to handle the encoding process as long as your CPU isn't being fully overtaxed in other areas. To ensure your CPU isn't being overworked, you can adjust a few settings to optimize the performance and quality. The output of your video resolution can have a significant impact on the quality of your live stream and performance of Streamlabs OBS. For example, streaming at 1080p versus 720p will double the number of pixels, meaning your computer will be using more resources. To adjust resolution, select video from the side panel in the settings window. You can leave the base canvas resolution as 1920 by 1080, since in most cases, that is the standard size of content that you are streaming. However, it is recommended to lower the output scaled resolution since streaming at 1080p can have a significant impact on your CPU. We recommend lowering the output scaled resolution to 1280 by 720. This is for a good balance between performance and quality. To change the CPU usage preset, navigate to output in the settings window and click on the advanced tab. The usage preset refers to how fast the CPU encodes video. The faster it encodes, the less CPU it uses. By default, it's set to very fast, which provides the best balance between performance and quality. In Streamlabs OBS, you'll find a new feature called Dynamic Bitrate. This feature allows our software to automatically adjust bit rates based on network conditions to prevent dropping frames. Having a static bit rate can cause frame drop. So for example, if your connection is unable to keep up with your set bit rate, it will drop frames to improve the stability of your stream and minimize latency. To use dynamic bitrate, make sure you have the latest version of Streamlabs OBS installed and navigate to advanced in the settings window. 
scroll down and toggle the box next to the option that says dynamically change bit rates dropping frames while streaming. Now those are some of the most important settings when it comes to making changes to quality and performance and features of your stream. But remember, every streamer is different, so it's best to play around with all these settings to find out what best suits you. Now let's talk about what your viewing community is going to be watching. Let's get into sources. Sources is something that outputs to your stream. A webcam is a source, one of the many widgets such as a donation goal can be a source, things like that. If you selected a web camera during the onboarding process, you should see it automatically capture in your live scene. You will then need to add a source to capture your desktop or anything else you want to output to your stream. To add a source, click on the plus sign and choose the source you'd like to add. If you're playing a lot of video games, we recommend choosing Game Capture Source. This will only display the game you are playing. If you enable automatic game capture functionality, Streamlabs OBS will automatically detect which game you are playing. There are other options like Window Capture, which only displays a specific window from your computer, or Display Capture, which will display your entire screen. After you've added your source to display your content, we highly recommend adding alerts. Alerts give you that little extra flair for you to recognize your viewers for when they contribute to your stream. Not only does it make new supporters feel great because you're recognizing them on stream, but it also encourages others to support you as well. You can add an alert box source and manually customize them on Streamlabs' website. But now that Facebook specific alert boxes are available in Streamlabs OBS, we recommend you download the free Facebook gaming widget theme, navigate to our widget themes gallery on Streamlabs OBS, search for Facebook gaming, and there you will see 31 alerts created to work specifically for Facebook gaming. Now, when you receive certain alerts like follows, stars, likes, supports, and shares, a beautiful, awesome custom alert will display on your stream. And there you go. Those are all the basic settings you need to know to get up and running and start streaming out to Facebook gaming. Have fun with it, play around with the settings and make your stream your own by looking at all the different themes and alerts to make you stand out on your live streaming platform. And there you go. Those are all the basic components you need to know to get up and running and live stream to Facebook gaming right away. You're welcome, by the way. Now, if you need any more help from me, Wild for Games or Streamlabs, we got your back. I'm going to put a video over here to the side that shows you how to improve the quality of your microphone so you can sound bigger and better. Now that does it for me. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care, happy streaming, and of course, peace.